Are you finished? Well, thank you. How thoughtful. Would you like a chocolate? Um, yeah, sure. Sorry, Sheldon, I almost sat in your spot. Did you? I didn't notice. Have a chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're here a lot now. Oh, am I talking too much? I'm sorry. Zip. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chocolate? Let me take this in the hall. <laughs> You'll never guess who they got to replace you with. <laughs> okay. I know what you're doing. Really? Yes. You're using chocolates as positive reinforcement for what you consider correct behavior. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Chocolate? No, Sheldon, you can't train my girlfriend like a lab rat. Actually, it turns out I can. Well, you shouldn't. There's just no pleasing you, is there, Leonard? You weren't happy with my previous approach to dealing with her, so I decided to employ operant conditioning techniques, building on the works of Thorndike and B.F. Skinner. Yet by this time next week, I believe I can have her jumping out of a pool, balancing a beach ball on her nose. No. This has to stop now. I'm not suggesting we really make her jump out of a pool. I thought the bazinga was implied. I'm just tweaking her personality. You're sanding off the rough edges, if you will. No, you're not sanding Penny. Are you saying that I am forbidden from applying a harmless, scientifically valid protocol that will make our lives better? Yes, you're forbidden. Bad, Leonard. <laughs> you know, Using positive reinforcement techniques, I could train that behavior out of her in a week. No. If you let me use negative reinforcement, I can get it done before we go to bed. You're not squirting her in the face with water. No, of course not. We're talking very mild electric shocks. No tissue damage whatsoever. Forget it. Oh, come on. You can't tell me that you're not intrigued about the possibility of building a better girlfriend. I'm not. Penny's qualities, both good and bad, are what make her who she is. <laughs> you mean like that high-pitched, irritating laugh? Yes. You wouldn't prefer a throaty chuckle? You're not changing how Penny laughs. No, that would be incongruous. Now, I was going to lower the whole voice to a more pleasing register. Ugh, <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. That girl is freaky! <laughs> You come again? Freaky. Freaky? Yeah, freaky. <laughs> Have a chocolate. Thank you. Well, I'm going to make some warm milk and then turn in. I trust if you two are planning on engaging in amorous activities, you'll keep the decibel level to a minimum? Of course. Thank you. Mm. These are so good. Mm. Unbelievable. <laughs> what? I, I was just thinking we should probably turn into... Well, you know, my new bed got delivered. If you come over and put it together, you can stay at my place. Really? That's a lot of work, and it's kind of late. Yeah, but if we stay there, we won't have to be quiet. Let's go. <laughs> Interesting. Sex works even better than chocolate to modify behavior. <laughs> I wonder if anyone else has stumbled onto that. 